Okay, here we are with Jen. So let's talk about how we're gonna do the lighting. Make it quick, simple, and easy. I have my pocket wizard set up. I know that when I set up light is gonna be the most important thing that I do. So I'm gonna make sure that my light is going into the face through the body of a woman. So my main light right now is the window. Problem is I'm not getting enough fill. So I wanna bring the flash in at a roughly two stops underneath my ambient lighting. So whether you shoot program, aperture priority, shutter priority, or manual, just by being on the pocket wizard, I can set and turn down my light to be two stops underneath from wherever I am, as close as I am or as far away. But let's get a little lighting tip here. We're gonna turn her face into the light. So we want the light to travel into the face through the body of a woman. By lighting into her face, you're gonna get a beautiful two-thirds light. So we're gonna light this side of her face, we're gonna light the middle, and we're gonna bring this side into shadow. That's bringing the shorter lit side closer to the camera, which is ultimately gonna thin out the subject. Now, more importantly, we're lighting through the body. By lighting through the body, that's gonna pick up all the detail. If we come directly from the camera, we're gonna flatten it out, we're gonna make her face look bigger, more importantly, her body look bigger. If we were to bring the light from here, we're gonna light in here, we're gonna blow out all the detail. More importantly, we're gonna create shadows that we don't like from the nose and under the chin. Now, why don't we match the light to the ambient? Well, number one, you're gonna get shadows on the wall, but number two, it's gonna be flatter. So I'm just telling my remote, I'm telling it and dialing it down to minus two. Makes all the difference in the world, and I take my ambient light reading. So we're gonna set a pose, kicking a leg in here, leaning off the waist, separating her arm, pulling her hair back, just like that, and her eyes are gonna come up to off camera. Now, if you look, I kinda have that two-thirds light. So now all I wanna do is get just a little bit of light in. I have the light direct, no diffusion, anything like it. It's all right, I'm not looking to create Picasso here, I'm just looking to kind of teach her a lesson. So two stops underneath. My camera height is way up above eye level, not way up above, but a little bit above eye level because I wanna thin her out just a little bit by bringing her face closer to the camera and starting higher. Eyes over here, Jen, turn your head slightly to the right, beautiful. Again, I make sure my pocket wizard is set to minus two, eyes here. Chin down, beautiful, eyes right there. Excellent, and if I'm right, I'm gonna have a beautiful soft light. When you zoom in, you take a look right there. Whoops, let me bring it back up, and you can look. You'll see the image. No shadow on the wall, but beautiful, simple catch light under the eyes. That makes all the difference in the world. That's two-thirds light, and again, I'm keeping it at two stops underneath. Now, let's try something a little bit different here. Again, my lights are working on TTL at this point. I can change them and make the manual light and dial in, but I don't really need to do that. We're gonna set up a profile light. So what I wanna do, Jen, can you take one step forward, beautiful? Is I'm gonna bring Jen here and I'm gonna turn her body in a direct profile to the light. So we're gonna turn her head here, just like this. We're gonna bring her hair back just a little bit so you can see what I do. She's in a beautiful direct profile. Her eyes are up here. Now, in order to get good profile lighting, I wanna take this light here and move it behind her. So ultimately, I'm gonna light into her face through the body, but I'm gonna get beautiful soft lighting that ends right about here. So it's gonna create a shadow. Again, that will be the short side of the face. It's going to be shadowed, which is gonna make it look thinner. But with my pocket wizards now, I don't need to worry about turning my lights to get line of sight or any of that stuff. I'm able to just set it up the exact way I want, my newest and most favorite toy in the world, and I'm aiming it to go into her face. I'm gonna double check myself, make sure right here, I'm tilting her head closest to me. Your eyes right up here, beautiful. So it's gonna light right across here. I want the front and more of a shadow. I'm again going to meet her right on here and I'm setting that light to be two stops underneath my ambient light reading. So for all of this, I'm at manual. I'm at 60th of a second F8. I should be creating a beautiful soft look behind her. Let's take a look. So we're gonna go here. And I don't wanna to talk too much about camera technique, but what I'm gonna do is, cause she's looking up, I'm gonna tilt the camera in the direction she's looking, which would be camera left. Again, I'm in a vertical. I'm gonna be tilting, which is gonna angle her body up. I'm gonna look at her eyes. Jen, can you bring your eyes a little bit to the left? Beautiful. Good, chin down a tad. Eyes down a little bit. Good girl. Now looking out, you're smiling gorgeous. Again, two stops. Beautiful, soft light. Take a look at that beautiful wraparound light. It's coming around the face, creating a shadow and softening the whole look. That simple, 
that easy. Watch how we change the mood. Now I'm going to bring the exposure up. Jen, look down with your eyes. And now rather than it be minus two, I'm going to make that light just a little bit stronger. I'm going to go to minus two thirds of a stop. Looking down, and I'm going to tilt in the other way, opposite direction. You are doing terrific. Wonderful. I could see that light. And if you look closer, I'm getting more power out of it. Just very beautiful, very soft, very easy. Now watch what fun we can have here. I'm going to take this light on the stand here, and I'm going to kind of create my own mood. It's a very simple stand. I got my light set up here. But what I'm going to do is kind of make it, I'm by myself. That's one of the reasons that I love the Pocket Wizard so much. As you can look, I'm up at about 10 feet now. So I'm going to use this as my light pole here. Okay, and watch what we create here. I'm going to bring it down here, and I'm going to kind of rig it up and hope that I'm strong enough to do this. I'm not too far away from her. Can you turn your body a little bit this way? Now, I'm going to kick her right leg forward just a little bit. Bring your hands behind your hip. Everything you do has to be based on simplicity. I'm going to bring her face up towards the light a little bit, up, looking up. She's going to be smiling and happy, but the key here is where I place the light. So if you look, I've extended my pole out all the way. I'm going to bring the light up and over her. Jen, turn your head to your right. Good. I want to make sure it's on her chin up a little bit, beautiful. Excellent. You are doing terrific. Turn your head to your right. It's aiming down at her face. You're smiling beautiful, nice and happy. Excellent. And I want you to take a look because she looks absolutely stunning. Beautiful, soft, fill light from above. That easy, that simple. Now, rather than have to reach up here and do it, I'm going to go to make it my main light. So rather than be at two thirds of a stop, I'm going to bring it to a regular full even. I want it to match the existing light so I get the strength of the light on. Looking up again, over her head, right there. You are doing terrific. Let me bring it down real close without hitting you. <laughs> there we go. Just like that, smiling gorgeous, happy, right overhead. And let's take a look. Oh my goodness, beautiful soft overhead light. It's that simple. You need wireless units. You don't need to worry about line of sight. The pocket wizards make all the difference in the world to me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, you can always come see us at Doug Gordon Workshops. Thanks again, everybody.